Why is change hard? Because there is inertia or no movement. Because people are confused about what is required. Efforts may be scattered or diffused through a lack of direction. A lack of ability or resources may lead to frustration. People may have seen this all before and become tired or fatigued. Worn out or unmotivated employees may move slowly or crawl along. And doubt will creep in if people are not kept up to date with progress and they will lose confidence. Consider Bluescope. It's a large Australian company operating in the steel industry. It has over 100 facilities across 17 countries and employs over 16,000 people. It provides various products from hot rolled coil steel through to specially treated steel such as collar bond and zinc alum. The company is attempting a massive cost cutting strategy at its Port Kembla plant, which is Australia's largest steel plant. And it is indicated that if it cannot achieve the savings of $200 million, then the company will import steel instead of making it. And they may shut the plant and 5,000 jobs will be lost. So we need to consider the factors that will lead to successful change. Firstly, we need a compelling case. Is everyone convinced that this is really needed? Or do they think managers are just making threats? The deadline provided by management is a clear attempt to stimulate action and avoid inertia. Next, we need to see a clear vision. Management have explained that key parts of the business are going well, such as the differentiated, high-value products Colour Bond and Zinc Alum. The move towards these areas from highly competitive generic steel products is reasonably clear. There is some argument about whether it is a well-defined strategy. This is a huge push to cut an enormous amount of cost that may not be feasible based on the size of the cost and the time frame available. If there is inadequate time or resources in place to implement this change, this will frustrate the change process. Time and resources need to be combined with capabilities and skills, and this will be challenging. With over 500 jobs to be eliminated, and with all 5,000 jobs at risk, motivation may be low, because people may feel they'll lose their jobs anyway. If everyone is working together, there may be some genuine momentum and a desire for change, but this will easily dissipate if people feel they have no real chance for success. Clear and honest communications throughout the organisation will be essential to make sure people are confident this can be achieved and how the cost reductions will be put in place. To recap, change is hard because it involves humans, their lives and their security of how they work being challenged. Change is not just about creating a new strategy and requesting everyone to implement it. Successful change requires the combination of various factors, such as a compelling case, adequate resources, and effective communication to overcome obstacles such as inertia, frustration, and doubt.